You know, I'm licensed 30 years. I see everything. I do supermarkets all over the place. Well, there's this one supermarket in Queens, and none of their exterminators can get rid of rats, and, you know, and I started doing the job. Well, the funniest thing was is when the lights are off, you know how in the Rocky movie you have those big slabs of meat hanging down because they're going to take it off the chain and they're going to soar in and make the beautiful, nicely wrapped packages of your clean meat that you think is so perfect? Well, guess what happens when you turn the light on? The rats are on. They jump from the floor and they grab onto the meat. When you turn the light on, you see rats with their teeth in the meat. The meat you're going to eat and the meat that's going to be in that beautiful, looks like it's sanitary wrapped meat for sale. The rats are just moving and trying to pull pieces off of the meat and then they drop to the floor. They usually take about 10 seconds when I turn the light on before they give up and they run back in the holes in the wall. So just remember, everything you purchase out there is not what you see. Everybody loves to eat, right? Everybody likes to go out to eat. Everybody likes to go to the supermarket. Everything looks so perfect. Let me give you a wake-up call. Now, how many people like a buffet? Crab legs, shrimp, lobster, pizza. Beautiful, right? And the best service. You're not even done with your plate. And the buffet people are taking your plate away. And you're like, wow, that's real nice. Ice cream, everything, right? Well, exterminators work when the place closes. So I get to see everything that no one sees. Uh, let me tell you. You know at the end of the night what I see? I see three guys with scissors cutting every piece of food that you spit out of your mouth. Trying to trim your teeth marks out of the food so they can reserve it to you for the next day for lunch. Forget about it. You never know what you're eating. Okay. Now I'm Polish and Italian so this is not... A prejudice joke. So I get, I have this old Italian guy. He's 75. He owns a restaurant in Jericho. And he, he's Italian. And he's very cheap. I mean, he has workers there. But he still like acts like the head chef. So he only calls me maybe once every two years. And he hates to spend the money. It's usually for a rat job. So... He calls me, I go there, he yells and complains about the money. I think it was three $350 to get rid of the rats. I went in there, and there were rat droppings. There's rats everywhere. He had traps all over the place. So he gives me a check. But now I have a weakness because I'm, I'm obsessed with everything. I love gambling. I love everything. So he convinces me to gamble my $350, which is ridiculous, okay? So... I'm sitting down at the black uh, at the table playing cards with him and his workers. All of a sudden, I had already set up the kitchen. I set up with all the rat traps, the cages, everything. So we're sitting down playing cards, maybe 15 minutes. And all of a sudden, you hear pop, pop, pop. Now, he gets an angry face on me because he realizes I caught something in the kitchen. And he's just mad that it happened so quick. And he spent the money, so he's all pissed off. The head chef gets up and he's all excited. And he runs in the kitchen. He's got to be gone maybe 10 minutes. Like, what the hell is he doing in there? All of a sudden he comes out and he says, You got three huge rats, Vincenzo. He goes, but I'm going to use this frying pan here to cook them with. Is that okay? Now, I'm looking at him going cook them with what and he says it again to Vincenzo I'm going to use this pan to cook them is that okay in his country rats are a delicacy Vincenzo gets up because he realizes the same frying pan they use to cook your chicken masala veal and scallops he's using to cook these rats he gets up he smacks the guy in the head throws him into the kitchen so you never know where or what you're eating.